Hey guys, what's up? I picked up my dream car. Let's check it out.
All right, guys. Well, if you guys do not know anything about this car, it is a 1969 Mustang hardtop coupe. It's got a 302 V8. So it'll get decent gas mileage and uh, still sound pretty nice too, as you guys heard. And it's got a full exhaust and everything on it. So pretty complete car actually. I'm not missing really anything. Just a few things from the car. Nothing bad at all. I mean, sure the seats are torn up. They're gonna be that way. I don't really care. They still work just fine. I've probably been tearing them up just uh, driving it around. But, you can kind of see the interior, it's black. Gonna clean it up a little bit. And uh, you guys are gonna see in a video that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the, the glue and windows. So, you can see the door panels are off. And I believe this is the original color of the car what it says on the door code and I'm currently working on the windows so I'll have the driver window in here and then it'll crank up and down I'll put tin on it so that's coming and then we'll get the passenger side once we get the new brackets because I ended up breaking the passenger brackets of course they were in bad shape anyway so my plans for this car Pretty much just keep it the way it is. I mean, it's not missing anything. It runs, drives, as you guys saw. Pull it right in here. Starts right up. Two pumps, no problem. Give it a little bit of gas, and then it'll start right up. So, I mean, you know, it's going to have, you know, some surface rust here and there. And actually, actually, that's just metal. That's not even rust. This is rust, though quite a bit there but that's just chipped off paint that's actually metal showing right there so yep and obviously had a vinyl top on it so um i was checking to see if it was a grande but this is not which they made fewer of those so it'd make it more rare but i believe 1969 mustangs are pretty rare these days Especially the windows and the way they glue in and all that kind of stuff, which is a pain in the butt. And the body style is very rare because they only made it for one year. So that's what's pretty cool about it. That's what I like. I've always wanted a 1969 Mustang. I've always liked the lines and the contours and everything of it. And I definitely like the rear end and the way it looks and how the... How it bends in and stuff with the cam shoulder which I'm going to paint this black just like the boss Mustangs and then I'm gonna paint right in here black as well so I'm gonna paint it with a uh, kind of like boss Mustang look to it because this is pretty much a boss 302 Except for a little bit souped up engine and the rear end right here having a bigger window and a smaller trunk and a longer body line. This is basically a Boss 302. I mean, it's just kind of the cheaper version, I guess you could say. So, I've always liked the Boss 302s and 429s. But this is like a daily driver. I can drive it anytime I want. Runs, drives. It'll get better gas mileage than a 427 or the 302s because they're going to have a higher compression ratio and all that kind of stuff. So they're going to use a lot of gas. But I can put a 351 Windsor in this. You can get them with crate motors, I looked, and you can bore that out to a 427. I can have a 427 in here later on. So the engine and transmission are working currently. Uh, no need to pull them out or put a different engine in it. Runs and drives. I'm just going to enjoy it, you know? That's what we're going to do. That's how, how it's going to go. Enjoy it. I'm not going to take this thing apart, and then it's going to be in parts, and then we're going to have, like, you know, no fun with the car. Like, I'm going to enjoy it the way it is. 
I mean, it's straight, doesn't have any dents, no problems, very little rust. I mean, that needs to be re chromed, but come on, that's not that big deal. It's still got like the fuzzy stuff from the, the vinyl top they put, they took off, so I'll have to finish taking that off. Fill in all the holes, you know, that kind of stuff. But, I mean, very little rust. Like right there, you got a hole. Not that bad, really, for this old car. I've seen a lot worse. So I picked this up off of uh, Facebook, Facebook Marketplace. And got a pretty good deal for it, so. I've always wanted a muscle car. I've always liked this style. And here it is, so. I hope you guys enjoy the videos, and uh, I'm just going to be doing little things here and there in the car. Not a whole lot, because it doesn't need much. I mean, it's got new tires, new brakes. They're all four drum brakes, so it's not going to stop um, that great, but it stops. <laughs> Works. I can always do a disc conversion with it later. But yeah, I mean, shoot. I think this will look really nice. All it needs is a paint job. And that's about it, really. I mean, I'm going to be taking it to a car show this in a couple weekends. Or this weekend. I don't know. Something, something like that. So, I'll be having it there. So, I'm pretty excited about having this. And uh, just use it as a daily driver if I want. Or, I can just drive it whenever the heck I feel like. I don't care. i got a good truck. Don't matter. But that's a little bit of history on the on the car, you know, it has the four headlights. It's got the Mustang emblem on it. And uh I got the dat the panels on the doors back in it. I got the panels back in the doors once I'm done with the windows, because that's the only reason why they're out right now. I got the panels for the doors, so you got the whole interior and all that, so Get those back in there once the windows are in. So that way we are uh, water protected because I don't want uh, you know water getting down in here, rusting out the door, you know, that kind of stuff. So definitely don't want that. I mean, it's already good the way it is. Let's check out what goodies we have in the Mustang here. Let's open up the trunk and uh, use a little flashlight here if it wants to work. There we go, magic. Just shake it and it works. Ford Mustang owner manual came with it. Haynes manual, like that's a win right there. Those are great manuals. I like those. And we got ourselves a spare tire and the plaid backing to the trunk. It's original, I believe. And then uh, I had to get a different air cleaner for the car as you saw in it that's why it's so shiny it's not like i'm like ooh, i wanted to keep it shiny it's got to be chrome <laughs> it's the only thing that fit really um so the original one that came with the car was too tall and they couldn't even you know wouldn't fit so i don't know why they didn't just get a different one i guess they just didn't want to do anything but Got uh, a 14 inch one, now it fits under the hood, doesn't hit the hood, all good to go. And then uh, we got ourselves some nice rags back there, you know, clean up the car and, and the, I guess foam stuff they have back there is kind of peeling away a little bit, might tear that out, I don't know. What we'll do with that exactly is just leave it alone, probably would be best. It doesn't look like there's any mouse houses or anything in here. I mean, it's been pretty well kept off the ground, not in a field, so that's why it's in good condition, not rusted. Pull that tarp away, and here we go. We have our armrests and door panels back here as well. Got a little fancy Mustang carrying bag, I guess, and then uh, some pouches and stuff, which this is for... That's for the jack. So, show you guys that jack's in there. It's all rusty or whatever. And, you know, it's got extra bolts and stuff in here that we're missing, like the door panel stuff, and all that kind of good.
goodies right there in this thing. Fancy little pouches so I can store things. That's kind of nice. We're already winning as it is, right, guys? We're already winning. Did we lose picture? Oh, we got it back. All right, we're good. Probably going to vacuum the back of this out, clean this out. Because less dirt to rust the car out, the better. I've already replaced the rear tail light bulbs. I'll have to check out the marker lights and stuff. Most of the lights work, it's just the brake lights don't work. So. I'll show you guys the interior and see what we got in here. I mean, they kept it pretty clean in here, so there's not like a lot of stuff. I mean, we're just going to have to do some vacuuming and that kind of thing. And Oh, there's a watermelon I bought. I still need to put that in the refrigerator. I guess that's fine. It's okay. No big deal. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the watermelon. That's hilarious. Actually, what happened, I locked myself out of the house. I had to get a locksmith to get the door open because I couldn't get in any other way. And I had groceries, so I had to go over to somebody else's house to put the groceries in the fridge. I left the watermelon there because it can handle, you know, being out and stuff. But I need to put that in the refrigerator so I can eat it. And uh, it's cold. I like it cold. But anyway, <laughs> other than the watermelon, work light. Come on. There you go. We got ourselves a nice transmission funnel so I can fill the transmission fluid, which is leaking. And that's probably why they have it in the car. It's not leaking too bad anyway. But as you can see here, got our custom gauges. Most of them work. And uh, got our gloves box and everything, you know, our automatic. Yes, it's not a manual, but I could always put that in there if I wanted. It's got the AC thing or whatever in it and the heater, but it doesn't have AC in it. So maybe they took it out or it didn't come with it. I don't think it came with it. But it does have the fan thing on it, so it makes me wonder. But yeah, pretty much not really anything too exciting. I mean, the headliner is really good shape the only problem is right here which i'll probably do what old or not old but pole barn garage did and just do some zip ties to hold that up right there so my camera skills are terrible just so you know so you can't see anything i'm not even like pointing the camera where i'm like looking or whatever you know but that's the interior of the car i mean not a whole lot going on there Good interior seats and everything other than that. No junk or garbage except for the stuff you really need. And a watermelon, you know? Let's just add a watermelon in the mix. Who doesn't like watermelon? I mean, or metal slamming doors. I just love that sound. It's great. Wonderful. If you guys hear me breathing a lot, it's not because I'm fat. Maybe it is because I'm fat, but... It is because I've got a little bit of a cold, as you can maybe hear. Throat's swollen up a little bit, so that's why that happened. Here's the front of the car. So a little knowledge on this, which I didn't know. These are the regular headlights. Those are actually the brights, and these are the turn signals down here. And they actually work. So I've tested the lights, and uh, they actually work. And with the old cars... The brights are actually way up in the wheel well, or I mean way up in here, can't even see anything. And it's like a button, but it's like way up under there. And you can just hit it with your left foot. And then this, if you guys are wondering, somebody who owned it before put like a Lincoln emblem on the hood or whatever, which, yeah, I want to get rid of that and fill that hole. That's just ridiculous. I mean, this sort of looks like a Lincoln, I guess, because, yeah, without the horse, it's a Lincoln. I don't know what they were thinking. Weird people. I have no clue. Let's see if I can get this trunk open, or the hood open. One hand did it. Score. The hinges work. Holds the hood up, as you guys saw. And, uh... You guys want to send me better lights that would be great because all i got is a flashlight anyway <laughs> feel free if you want not gonna argue but 
pretty much solid 302 engine here we got i mean i didn't put these covers on there so that's why they're chrome or whatever so yeah so if you guys want to know i mean <clears throat> it's got a little bit of some leaks and stuff here and there but nothing like too crazy um obviously the heater core wasn't working so they just cut the tube or used the tube yeah they just cut the tube and then just bypassed it so it still works no problem keeps it cool and doesn't overheat that alternator looks old-ish but still working it seems like it's pumping out amps and uh got the actual metal fan which i've heard the plastic ones are bad so we do not want a plastic fan so we got the metal one at least we're good shape there original fan and then regular tube <laughs> we don't have any flexi hose sorry Mortsky to disappoint you but we don't have any flexi hose for you um yeah I mean the shock mounts are in really good shape um it's not really a whole lot of rust on the car that you can see in the frame pretty solid trying to point the camera here so sorry if I got bad angles and shots because I'm trying to point <laughs> the flashlight and with the, f the phone I'm using for my f -f 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 phone because I can't t -t 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 talk today yeah and we got a cool nap of battery yeah we got the proformer that's the most bad ass part of the car right there is that and then look how much space you have right here just for like all kinds of stuff and we got like families of butterflies in here oh my gosh all about the butterflies in this thing yeah and moths just all the colors we got so much space in here oh and the horn doesn't work not like i need it or anything but yeah we got so much room in here for like activities i mean look at all the space it's so great yeah anyway oh and it doesn't have a brake booster so it's just got the regular master cylinder without the brake booster so <laughs> you can say my leg gets a workout using the brakes they're four disc not four disc but four what am I trying to say? Four brakes all around the car are drum brakes. There we go. Sort of an idea. Yeah, exactly. No brake booster. So I'm having to really push on these brakes to get it to stop. It's a little weird getting used to that, but it stops. You don't think it'll stop, but it stops. So yeah, pretty much all good in here. And it's been painted like three times, obviously, because it used to be champagne gold. Then it was painted a blue, so you can see there. And then now it's like a red. So, yeah, it's been painted a few times. That's white there, too. So I don't know if that's primer or not. I don't know. Who knows? It's been painted several times. We'll just say that. So that's the car, pretty much. I mean, not a whole lot to it. Well, I just realized something. Maybe some of you picked it up when I was recording and everything, but that master cylinder, that bar that holds the top cap of it was off. So I've been driving around with that cap off. It's been leaking, if you can see down the side. And I was wondering why I was losing um, brake pressure on the pedal. And that seemed to be the reason. So I refilled it back up and uh, seemed to have more of a pedal. But I may need to bleed the brakes because it got really low. So um, we'll just have to test the brakes to see uh, how well that works later and then go from there. But the crisis averted. Figured that out. Realized that the whole time I've since I picked up the car... <laughs> and been driving it it's been doing that so that explains why the pedal is getting further and further and everything when i was trying to stop i thought maybe the four drums needed to be adjusted 
and they weren't being adjusted or self-adjusting right. And that's what the problem was. But, um, yeah, it's just maybe some fluid. We'll see. We'll, we'll check it out later. Anyway, <clears throat> I've kind of been cleaning up the car. Um, put this back on here. I know it's silly, but, you know, no point in having it. But I did vacuum in here. And I cleaned it out. I didn't record that or and wiped it down in the dash and all that kind of stuff. So I got the the surface dust off of it and everything. It looks a lot cleaner in there. And I didn't bother recording that because I didn't think you guys would be interested in just vacuuming or whatever or cleaning it up. But um, I did get some black paint. Got some flat black. And I'll have to get some sandpaper. I forgot about that. Uh, to get some fine sandpaper so I can uh, sand all around here. Maybe get some more tape to mask it off. So I'm going to mask off all the lights and the, the gas cover and the lock and the bumper all around here. So I can paint all that black without hitting everything black. And then uh, same with the front up here with the headlight like I said I was going to do. So we'll do that with that black paint eventually. I uh, also got tint in. Close that. Also got some tint in so we can uh, tint the window downstairs, which has been uh, hardening with the glue for several days. So should be almost time to put in the window. Actually, tomorrow would be the time to put in the window. So I'm thinking, put the tint in the window today, and then I will be able to uh, have at least a day for the tint to dry on the window and cure to it um, before we try to put it in the, in the car. So that's the plan anyway. Well, that was the 1969 Mustang, as you guys saw, and... Uh, be doing different projects on this car probably over time and things like that and maybe I'll come up with other content and other videos to do and stuff like that because I've only got this Mustang in my truck you know so I've only got like two vehicles to really do anything I don't have room right now anyway for like a ton of cars so it's not like I'm gonna be doing oh hey I picked up this car and I got this car and oh we're gonna do this we're gonna do that like you know we're not full barn garage here so you know that's just the way it is we're not putting fab shop either we're not even Morsky Repair. We're not even Junkyard Digs, okay? But, you know, we are around them. But they don't know that yet. But we may not even collab with them. We don't know what has going to happen. I mean, like, I'm just a little YouTuber right now. Like, I'm just starting to do the channel again. So we'll see where it goes. Anyway, thank you for watching the video. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. We're going to grow the channel. We're going to do more stuff. And uh, we're going to have all kinds of things we're going to be doing, no matter what it is. It doesn't matter, because we're just going to hang out with me, you know. That's what we're doing. That's the whole point of the channel. You just hang out with me while I do stuff. So that's it. And, yeah. So, don't forget to like, dislike, leave mean comments, leave good comments. Whatever you want, subscribe. See you guys in the next video.